Well, everyone, welcome to the market outlook for the week. Gaurang Shah here from Geojit Financial Services, and as I speak to all of you all this Monday morning, markets have regained the momentum on the upside and are holding quite well. But before I give you any further outlook for the market for the week uh, this Monday morning at 10:30, let me wish all of you all, on behalf of our company Geojit Financial Services and myself, a very happy Dhanteras. and a happy diwali and a prosperous new year hope all of you all stay in good health and prosper as far as your investments are concerned now coming to the market so as i speak to all of you all uh, nifty is up about 180 points 24360 the level on nifty spot sensex up 720 points 80120 is the level on sensex and bank nifty up 730 points 51510 is the level on uh, bank nifty or nifty bank on rupee dollar and crude oil a 0.005 paise strength on the rupee against the dollar and the level is 84.08 and on the crude oil front brent and nymex uh, after the developments and the news flows in the middle east and the demand supply uh, situation uh, brent is currently trading at about 72.60 dollars to a barrel and nymex is trading at about 68.40 dollars to a barrel First, the view on uh, crude oil and rupee. Well, uh, like we've been maintaining for the last many weeks, more than demand supply and uh, <clears throat> statements made by OPEC Plus, the momentum in crude oil on both up and down side is totally dependent on the unfortunate geopolitical situation in the Middle East and the escalation or de-escalation over there. So, if any de-escalation news comes through. then we might see some cool off on the crude oil prices and any kind of uh, negative news flow as far as escalation is concerned then that might give a momentary short term spike on the crude oil prices on the rupee dollar equation let's hope that uh, there is some more strength that is witnessed on the rupee against the dollar totally dependent upon what the situation is both uh, on the local and global front and of course uh, dollar supply at current levels from rbi as well as uh, banks so possibly 84 and 84 10 84.15 could be the broad range uh, for the rupee dollar equation 84 on the strength 84.10 to 84.15 on the weakness side for the rupee dollar equation now to the markets well after seeing a relentless selling from the fis and close to about 8 to 10% correction on the sensex and nifty approximately we are seeing some stability this morning and the good part is that like other days other weeks any upside that we see open up is witnessed with selling side pressure and uh, that leads to uh, the markets turning around on the negative side because of the sell side pressure and uh, closing in the red but little bit early to speak for this morning because we have just got into the trade for uh, about hour and a half but we are able to maintain the positive momentum let's hope that uh, the positive momentum continues at least for this week given that we are in the festivities and hope to see some <clears throat> bright colors on the sensex and nifty and the market overall uh from 26270 odd levels to 24124200 uh, where we were uh, there last week Uh, the upside tick is showing some kind of soothing sentiments but at the same time let me tell you friends we are also in the fno expiry week which will lead to choppiness and volatility so one needs to be prepared for this particular event as well on the earnings front well there has been a mixed reaction on both side some of it the color was not so good and for some company specific uh better than expected numbers we have still got about a week and a half to go for the curtains down for q2 earning session and our sense is that it will be prudent to uh, evaluate the q2 earnings post the closure of the q2 earning so let's hope that whatever remains give us some kind of more uh, positivity in terms of uh, better color and shade uh there are a lot of concerns for certain sectors certain companies the way <clears throat> the numbers have unfolded and especially way the government uh, the management has given the outlook for their business 
but all this will possibly depend there is possibility of turnaround etc etc the other factor is the situation in the middle east and its impact and along with that friends next week 5th of november we will see the largest developed economy facing a presidential election that is us and uh, the outcome of that and its impact etc etc and in between if there are certain incidences or news flows coming out of the us which are not so very uh, positive may have its impact on us markets as well as the global market so we need to just uh, fasten our seat belts and hope and pray that the turbulent time or the turbulent weather that we are into is behind us sooner rather than later on the nifty range that we normally give you friends you know given the india wix volatility given the volatility in the market given the choppiness and volatility because of the fmx expiry and the event news flows uh, the range has become quite broad for lower and higher side but we have tried to give you an idea about it approximate idea on the lower side and higher side so 23800 to 24000 on the lower side keeping in mind that there might be a little more more highlighted sell side activity in case of the markets have to recover and move a little bit higher especially from the fi we all know the numbers don't want to go into that and on the higher side possibly 24300 where we are right now to 24500 in case if we are able to take off 24500 decisively on closing basis then there could be more momentum that can be expected but given the events locally and globally and the news flows i think we need to keep our expectation at a much much lower level we always say friends market corrections are great opportunity to build up a portfolio and our sense is that uh, given the kind of 8 to 10% approximate correction on the sensex and nifty and possibly on certain sectorial indices these are times to create that particular portfolio wherein you can actually get wealth out of it from a longer perspective not to forget friends we were in a continuous upside barring some days some weeks of profit booking right from the beginning of this year 2024 jan and now that we are in the month of october and the kind of uh, shift from the fis from uh, india as a preferable destination to the other parts of the emerging markets and economies which has led to the kind of uh, outflow that we've seen but despite of this sell side figure which has been a historical new high from the fis one has to appreciate the fact that we have corrected just about 8 to 10% and in equity market if one does not have the capability or the appetite to digest 10 15 20% or maybe a little bit more choppiness and volatility then one needs to introspect in terms of what one needs to do with their investments in equity market so and history is witness friends whenever market has consolidated for a longer period of time try to make a durable base and once that base is in place history is witness market has given us a new all time lifetime high so this correction was welcomed it is a healthy sign especially for the longer durability of the equity market and hence we believe that this is a great opportunity to create portfolios so like always we give you two investment ideas our first investment is pick is from the fmcg pack do the sectorial fmcg pack company specific certain numbers were not very exciting there were pressure on uh, volumes there was pressure on margins there was downside uh, number as far as the semi urban and rural india consumption theme is concerned and so and so forth for some some from metros and tie to tie three cities <clears throat> but the question is whether there can be a recovery as we go into the future so our sense is that there will be and one does not one has to keep in mind that india was is and will always be a consumption driven story so the first investment idea is itc uh, for those who have been uh, tracking this particular stock of itc they will remember that there were times of longer period of hibernation absolutely 
range bound to zero movement but then post the demergers of business post the recovery in earnings and contribution from across verticals the stock is virtually trading comparatively to other large cap names in the fmcg close to the all time highs so that's the strength that this particular stock is witnessing and our sense is that earnings will be supportive as we go into the future so first investment idea is itc the second investment idea is from a sector which we believe will be a great performer over the longer period of time due to the capacity addition due to the policy changes and due to the demand outlook being very very robust <clears throat> that is power generation and from the power generation pack we have picked up a psu uh, ntpc uh, just to give you a little bit of uh, inputs uh, in ntpc happens to be one of the largest uh, power generating capacity company ntpc green ipo and along with that a uh, new power capacity addition policy changes has enabled the health of the state electricity board financial health of the state electricity board to become much more stronger and supportive and by the virtue of that whatever payments that have to come from sbs to the power generating companies has now the time frame has reduced to a great extent and with the kind of uh, uh, value unlocking that will happen due to ntpc green uh, we believe that this is one particular stock that needs to be on your radar and whenever market gives you opportunity you should look at long term investment into this stock as well needless to say friends these are both these investment idea that is itc and ntpc are from a long term point of view these are fundamental investment names that we are sharing with all of you all and for that you need to have at least 12 16 18 months plus kind of a time horizon no need to jump into the investment bandwagon thinking that there is no tomorrow the most appropriate approach to invest in itc and ntpc will be start at current levels and as and when you get dips you can continue to add to the stock having uh, lower level value advantage which will finally bring down your investment cost and uh, extend your profit margins but please have long term this is not btst this is not uh, one week two week three week six months kind of a time horizon so you need to keep this in mind thank you all very much for your patience hearing and i'll see you again next week till then please do take care of yourself and once again all the best wishes for the festivities which are lined up ahead thank you very much